Number 22, a typical car has an axle with 1.1 centimeter radius, driving a tire with a radius of 27.5 centimeters. What is the mechanical advantage, assuming the very simplified model and blah, blah, blah. So this is kind of simplified, but I think this is even more simplified. So here's the axle. It has a radius of uh, 1.1 centimeters. Here's the tire now, and it has a radius of 27.5 centimeters. So basically at the center of each of these rotating bodies is the fulcrum. Okay, so this dot right here for each represents the fulcrum. And the picture over here on the top right, right here in the middle would be the fulcrum of the tire. And then right in the middle here, you know, at the center of that uh, axle would also be the fulcrum uh, for that rotating axle. So basically, if we're looking for mechanical advantage, all right, we're taking the ratio. They told us some length, so most likely we're going to be using the input length or the input lever arm divided by the output lever arm. All right. So now um, in terms of the input versus the output, um, the engine is supplying, right, the rotational power to turn the axle, which that's the input. And then that will drive then the wheels on the road, which is then the output. Um, so considering that, you know, the force here, if you look at this picture of the wheel, the force here is acting at the perimeter, right, of the circular tire. So therefore, since the force is acting in this region, the lever arm then is always the perpendicular distance between the line of action and the fulcrum. So that is the radius, okay, of that tire. Same thing would go for the axle. So now let's just plug it all into that equation. So the input value, as we said before, was 1.10. That's for the axle centimeters over then the output, which is for the tire, 27.5 centimeters. Notice the units are the same, so I don't have to do any conversions. So now my mechanical advantage simply comes out to be, if we do the math, so this should work out to be 0 0.04 and then two sig figs, it looks like. So 0 0.04, uh, that is the mechanical advantage. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit that like button if this helped, and I will see you in the next question. Take care.